Hello everyone, my name is Lulu, the RC chick, and today I'll be taking a look at these awesome Lesson 945 excavators. So we do have one here in yellow. It is actually the upgraded version of this white one over here. So I'm gonna take you through the white one and show you what kind of upgrades you can get just like the yellow one over here. So this is gonna be in 142 scale with a three section arm as you can see over here. So let's jump right into it and let's go. All right, now let's pick color options. So obviously over here, we do have this white one that I'm gonna be looking at. And you can actually get this in some other custom colors, but this is gonna come with your silver and painted tracks, as well as white all around with gray on the buckets on the top over here, and then black right here inside the tracks. And obviously coming to this side, we do have this yellow one, yellow, white, and gray colors with the black tracks. So you do have your arm in yellow as well as most of the parts, but everything else is going to be in gray. But also remember, you can definitely get this customized from us if you just decide to get a kit for yourself. All right, now let's take a look at the other exterior details and all the other things you can get upgraded. So over here, you do have your bucket that it comes with originally. And over here, you do not have a quick release coupler, but that you can actually get using this quick release coupler. So meaning you can switch between buckets since this one does have it, but this one doesn't have any. So you cannot switch this bucket out. And now here's another special thing. So we do have the smaller final arm here. You do have these two extra nozzles to connect any other hydraulic attachments that you may have. But for this one, you're not gonna be able to use it. But however, over here, you do have your connected nozzles that block the hydraulic fluid from coming out because this version has been customized to make sure that you can have hydraulic attachments. And of course, there is an extra line here that you actually do not have on this white one. So this extra one over here, you're gonna use it for this awesome attachment, 360 degrees hydraulic clamp that you're gonna need because it has five hydraulic lines in total. There is another one with only four hydraulic lines, which has 270 degrees, but this one is 360. So you do need that extra hydraulic line over here to use this one here. So, and of course you're gonna have your mid arm. So they're both going to be the same over here. No upgrades have been made. And your final huge boom that controls the entire arm, which is great. Now for the cabin, you're gonna notice that over here, we do have the roof guardrails on this cabin as well as this cabin guard over here for the windshield. But for the original version, nothing you do not even get any warning lights on the top so nothing has been upgraded on this one this is just how it's gonna come directly from the factory fully assembled but on this one you do have extra guardrails on the top and on the front and of course a rotating warning light on the top which makes it look just that much cooler so another thing that's different is we do have our painted tracks on this upgraded version, but on the not upgraded version, we do have the non-painted tracks. So you can also choose to have your tracks painted, whichever color you'd like, but I think black would be the best choice. And now for the cabin, everything else, just like the cabin interior, of course, it's fully detailed perfectly made and you do have a screen over here that is actually your working LCD screen and this over here is going to be the lever that you can actually push down to turn this model on so that's a really cool addition for this one. Now here's something cool about the cabin interior this is actually a recliner chair you can actually push it back and push it back forward so that is really interesting. Such a small detail can make such a huge difference in the realism of this awesome model. And I guess we're gonna add a driver that's gonna be driving our thing when we turn it on. Okay, I'm not really good at this. I, I don't think you're supposed to drive like that, but let's do it. All right, and now for other details on the outside, of course, you're gonna get a lot of openable doors for the 945 Let's Do. Unlike other 945s, you do have the first openable door over here. And of course, the larger one also opens and that's why you're gonna find your receiver. But if you're gonna get the upgrades, just like this yellow one over here, once you open the doors, the first door and the second door, 
you're going to find two receivers on this side instead of one. That's because we've added this attachment over here. So we're going to need to control this. And of course, we're going to need more space. So there's an extra eight channel receiver on the side with the 12 channel receiver. So now this being the standard, you're gonna have to have a T-connector battery and of course the battery compartment is on the top of it there, but you do not have to go in through this side. You can go in from the top. So there is on top of here an openable door and that's going to be your battery compartment. For this one, I'm using this 6,000 milliamp LiPo battery, 3S battery, so it fits in just perfectly. You can go in from the top and then push it in or also from the side, whichever you choose. And another thing about the door that's on the top over here that you can open, you can actually open the entire thing as well. So that's much easier access to your battery. So you can have so many options of how you access the battery compartment. I think that's a really cool addition. Now coming over on this part, that's where you're going to find your oil tank. So all you have to do is unscrew this bit to access your oil tank, inject your hydraulic oil, and of course you'll be ready to run. So this door down here, that's gonna let you see how much hydraulic oil you have in here. So that's your pressure or hydraulic oil level that you can see using this part over here. Now on this side, you can also open this door. That's where you're going to find your radiator or cooler, your pressure gauge. And now this button over here that you can adjust your pressure. And of course, the pump for the hydraulic oil. So your 945 is of course going to be equipped with the Paladin 18 EV light radio. So you have a lot more things to control for even any other extra channels that you need to control. This has got you. So let's turn this baby on. So now that we have our remote controller turned on, we have to open the door and flip our power switch. And you can see it turn on with the LCD display as well, turning on at the same time, which is a very, very cool addition. I love that for this. All right, now let's check out the light system on this beautiful model. So this is going to be your switch. Let's turn that on. So you do have one, two, three, four, five lights that turn on on the first flip. So there is one on the side over here. There's another one on the other side corresponding to this one. And then on our second switch, you're going to have this light come on. So there's going to be two, one on this side and one on the other side. And then on the third and last switch, you're going to have some real lights turn on right here in the back. So you do have one, to lights and of course these GPS trackers do have tiny little lights that you can see under there that blink they're red lights so that on this model that's nine LED lights that already come with it there is no warning lights on the top so that's an upgrade that you can get like in the other yellow one so we do not have any sound units installed on this one no smoke nothing this is just the RTR straight from the factory without any other upgrades. So we're going to move on directly to the operation of the arm. So it is a three section arm with a bunch of hydraulic cylinders and I'm gonna show you how those move. So now for operation, this model is not gonna run without you turning on the hydraulic pump. So this is going to be your pump button. I think this is enough for the pump so you can actually move everything around. However, you can actually set it up for mixed control together with the pump. So turn off the pump and then press this button. And now you can move everything around. So I do prefer doing it with mixed control because the pump actually sounds way more quiet than when you do already have it turned on. So we're going to put this on mixed control instead. And now let's check out the hydraulic functions of this excavator. So you do have five hydraulic cylinders to control each and every single hydraulic function. So first let's start with the bucket. So this is going to be your bucket. You can actually do it so slowly as well. It is very, very precise, very quiet. Just look at how smooth that is. A little bit quicker. Slower. Absolutely beautiful operation for this hydraulic cylinder. 
And now let's check out the hydraulic cylinder for the smaller arm, which is on top of the middle arm. So let's try that out. So as well, everything is on mixed control. You get as much power as you need for how fast you're moving. And now let's check out the movement of the middle arm over here. This is going to be the hydraulic cylinder that controls it. And we're going to just push this knob or like just spin it around to get it moving. So you can go as fast as you want or as slow and as delicate as you need to be. Just listen to that. The pump is barely noticeable. That's really, really good. All right, and now for the final larger arm, you do have these two big cylinders under here that control it because it is carrying a lot of weight over here in the front. So let's try that out. This is going to be your joystick for that. So this thing is strong enough to lift the entire weight of the excavator with barely making any noise. Just look at how amazing that is. Let's bring her back up. You're definitely going to be a lot of heavy digging with this one. You can easily do that. Very smooth, very quiet, super easy and with mixed control, amazing. And of course you do have your rotation. And your tracks. Independent control of the tracks. You can spin. And also there's 360 degrees spinning on point, so you can go whichever direction you need to go with no issues. Everything's really nice and responsive, super smooth. All right, now let's just try to operate this freely. I am not the best operator in the world. You do need like to have a little bit more experience with this three section arm operation, but I am trying and I'm learning just to get used to this. everyone now that was the very most standard three section arm 945 from Lesso and of course this one that we've made some awesome upgrades on that I think you guys definitely might want to have on your next excavator so what do you guys think of this one and all the things you can get for this one you should contact me if you want to have everything that this one has and more of course there's always gonna be more and any color customization anything you need we do provide it here at Tukan Hobby and I'll be so happy to have you guys contact me to get one of these for your own kit version pnp rtr everything is available and if you need it just come get it from me so i'll be very happy to speak to you guys thank you for the, watching this video and i'll see you in the next video so bye